Wednesday drink review for today's episode. We're kind of going a little bit different. Are you sure that they want us to review this one now, or is this the fall one? Oh, this we're doing. You know what? Like we're doing. One. I put ASAP inside of this one. All right. We're so, just we're reviewing it. Listen, this is sponsored by Addie's. All right. Sure is. But we're gonna be doing neutral today, <laughs> which are basically canned <laughs> vodka seltzers. And if you know anything about Mike and I, is if it's not brown, just kidding. We're going to be reviewing these today. Uh, take a little sip skis of each and let you guys know what we're thinking because vodka seltzers are kind of like the 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 new thing since people aren't doing malt seltzers. The malt seltzers, which are disgusting. You don't feel good after malt seltzers, and I'm not going to name them. You know, like the White Claws and the Trulies. You know, I they just feel sticky. They're gross. Pause. All right. Yeah. Pause. So. Got to respect the pause, bro. So, it. vodka seltzers are the new thing. They're the new kind of big fad. In uh, they're a different thing than RTDs, right? Or are they considered RTDs? I mean, these aren't cocktails. These are just kind of mixed vodka seltzers. I mean, it's I vodka. Mean, I guess cram. it kind of is. So I guess right? yeah, probably an RTD. It's probably not an RTD. But anyways, probably, yeah, we're gonna look. here open these. Let's start cracking them. All right. So say our sponsor quick. I know that you yeah. introduced them, but give give the spiel. Addies, Fine Wine and Spirits. Download their app on the Apple App Store or the Google Playground Play Store. Uh, Addies, Fine Wine and Spirits is all you have to do to search. You're going to see a white square with purple grapes hanging as their logo. Um, we're definitely not drinking all of these. Purple grapes. That's yeah, an insane... You really think we're going to sit here and crush four seltzers? <laughs> In ten minutes. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I <laughs> can't even talk. Uh, Addie's, ad read. Addie's be, be has a professional. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ! I know. Seriously, we're trying to run a business here. Uh, Addie's has an in-house wine sommelier for all the wine drinkers out there that want to spice it up a little bit. You can find inexpensive wines and expensive wines. They also got a back room for you. They have a knowledgeable staff. They had a wonderful selection, and clearly, they do a lot with uh, neutral. So if they have you, a lot of canned cocktails, can, like vodka seltzers and all that there. So download their app, check out their inventory. If you're in the state of New York, you can buy it, and they can ship it right to you. Um, we interview neutral, okay? So if you want to learn about the story, the brand, the history, etc., go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, of course, help out the boys, and find neutrals. It's spelled N-U-T-R-L for those that are audio only and haven't seen the beautiful packaging, which we'll get to during the Wednesday Whiskey Review. Moving forward, we have Cranberry Orange. Cranberry grapefruit, cranberry apple, and classic cranberry. So those are the four. Yeah, we're not going to do one Wednesday review for each. We're just going to basically talk about it. We'll give an overall rating of what we think of these vodka seltzers compared to other vodka seltzers that we've had. But we're not going to dedicate a whole episode to each one because, I mean, they're basically the same just with a little bit of a... A flavor twist. Well, a flav flavor twist. Flavor flav. You know, he's still alive and doing good. He still wears clocks. Is he? For those interested. Um, all right, so... I was not. Label branding. Kind of why I asked you about the whole holiday thing, because this screams holiday to me. Like, we got the the burgundy. Like, this looks like this should be under a mistletoe. This screams uh, Germany to me. Like, full European vibes. Is it German or is it Sweden or something along a Nordic country? You just see the two dots above the U and you're just like European. That's pretty much how it goes. I mean, it's from Anheuser Busch. We should probably say that too. Well, we partnered with Anheuser Busch. We know. I mean, do they though? They Bush, didn't watch the interview. Go watch the interview. Bush Christ. basically just bought the brand and said, you're ours now. Anheuser Busch, not George Bush. Correct. So we're going to be trying these out. So the label branding, I mean, this screams holiday to me. But, I mean, it's a very classic, like, classy label. It's not busy. It doesn't scream white girl wasted. It just, it's like a really nice package. Yeah. And it says right on the label, vodka with real fruit juice, sparkling water, and natural flavors. Yeah. And then it says uh, 100 calories. Okay. There is no added sugar. Okay. 
gluten-free and natural flavors is also printed on the label. Then, of course, they have the government warning because this is alcohol. And then it says this stuff tastes good. Like, Mm. really good. Like, that one time on that one night, you'll never forget good. That good. So, interesting touch on the label uh, for neutral. What do you think about the ribbon on top to call it the flavor? I do like the ribbon on top. It's nice tooch, and then it also makes it easier for uh, what kind of mood you're in. You know, do you want to go orange, pink, green, or classic yeah. red? I kind of feel like they should have put a uh, color at the bottom or somewhere else because it just kind of looks out of place. The whole can is red. Or maybe just one stripe, yeah, down, stripe the side. down the side or something just to kind of make it a little bit more uniform because right now it just kind of looks a little top-heavy with that color there. But overall, I mean, I'm going to give – all these cans like a solid B plus. B plus is fine with me. To be fair, too, most of these are going to be inside of some sort of koozie apparatus. Yeah. Most people use not you know no free shout outs. Hashtag not a sponsor. Although if you want to be a sponsor, hashtag please be a sponsor. Hashtag we need sponsors. <laughs> Brute mates or whatever those things are called. Brute mates. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the uh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of brute force. No brutes, which are like giant garbage cans. Um, yeah, brewmates. So slide right in there, and then keep your beverage cold, which these are surprisingly like not warm. Yeah. They're they're somewhat chill, which I'm happy about because I Thank I don't like when this drink is warm. Correct. All right. So All right. I, agree, I, agree, I agree. I agree. Moving I agree, on agree. to the B nose for the label branding. Nose. Yeah. Are we re- we're really gonna are we? All right. No, nah, just pour it in your glass. Don't be a b- barbaric about it. Well, I'm just sitting we're here just opening all crushing these, crushing a couple. Yeah. I need. I mean, we're going to drink these throughout the actual episode that we record after this. So if you're excited for that, go head on over. And then you can hear our real thoughts on it. Just kidding. These yeah. are our real thoughts. And then we got all, all right, the I bubbles. Guess I'll just reach over here and grab well, it. Well, yeah, be an athlete. God. It's not like we talked about the NFL all last week episode. Right, yeah. It smells fizzy. It smells like orange. Which one did you pour? The same one you did. Perfect. Consistency. Nice. So, which I hope so because then we can talk about it. Uh, it's not orange inside the glass. You would think cranberry orange would be orange, and it's not, friends. It's kind of pink. It looks like a little rosé. All right. Uh, nose is pleasant. There, you could tell it was made by real fruit. It smells very sugary. It smells like fluoride, like sugary, doesn't it? It, sh- it smells sugary and syrupy to me. It smells like a dental office. I mean, what kind of f- dental office do you go to? Dude, Is it you- spelled B-A-R? <laughs> Listen, friend. <laughs> You, this doesn't remind you of the dentist when you smell it. It literally smells like a dentist. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Kind of like a bubble gum. Yeah, it's the. Bit. It smells like the cleaning paste that they use with the yeah. automatic toothbrush after they're done with the cleaning. You know, the horrible part, the polishing. It smells like it smells like the bubble gum polish. Do you want to do all noses together? Or do you want to do like one? I want to put our nose together. Ask them all kisses. <laughs> no, I guess we'll do one at a time. Yeah. But that means we got to dump this out. Well, drink it. Be a man. Then we got to do the initial taste for each one, and then we got to dump each one out. We just got to just chug them every single time. I don't. We're gonna be burping by the end of this, like in Willy Wonka's <laughs> factory. It's fine. We'll All figure right, it out. So bubble gum, you do get a lot of that orange in there. It ver- it smells very syrupy and sugary to me. C plus for so me. So I'm for interested. The nose. I'm interested to hear or to figure out how this tastes because it's it it smells thick. C plus for me. I'll go B minus. So let's go. C plus Jack. C plus Jack. Crush it. C plus Jack. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. Initial taste. Let's have a dram, yeah, we shall gotta go, we? We got to go quick on these because it's going to be a long episode. So, nothing but time, brother. Okay, so the initial taste tastes like an orange. Soft and not syrupy, which was what I was concerned about. When you have one of these and you get that syrupy, sugary note on the nose. I get very scared that it's going to go down thick and kind of coat your tongue and all that. But this is very refreshing. This is crisp. Yeah. Crisp. I do enjoy it. I like the orange taste of this, too. Um, I generally like orange. Actually, I just got orange from coffee from Premium this morning. So. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, it's so good. Orange and then a little toast and a fudge. We'll talk about it. But. The I do like the orange taste, so it's not overpowering. The cranberry is not overpowering. It's a good blend of each. Ending note, it's fairly flat. It's a vodka seltzer. Obviously, yeah. it's going to be flat. This isn't necessarily dynamic. The fizz wears off. No it, indigestion, of course. It does get a little phlegmy at the end, like a little bit 
coagulate it, well, I guess, as it's going down. Well, we're chatting the whole time, too, so that's not necessarily helping the situation. Yeah, a little sticky lips over here. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I have so many side comments, All right, but so we're not saying Ending them. note, C plus check again? Yeah, C Go plus ahead. check for the ending note, and then final rating on the orange. <clears throat> Do you want to do final rating in the orange or final rating for all? Like a one rating at the end. All right, one rating at the end. All right, so cranberry grapefruit. Nose? Nose. Ooh, Ooh this is pungent. Ooh, I like this. This punches you straight in the face with all the grapefruits. Yeah, so the grapefruit is much more prominent in the cranberry grapefruit than the orange is prominent in the cranberry orange. Just to note, if you're not a grapefruit fan, this is going to smell very off-putting to you. But I will say I do love grapefruit, first of all, so this is probably going to be my favorite kind of foreshadowing here but this does not smell syrupy or sugary uh nose rating because it just smells like fresh grapefruit i'm gonna go a minus on this yeah yeah i'm fine with that yeah. i agree i agree i agree I agree, I agree, I agree. initial taste same thing dynamic initial taste any note fizzes out the initial taste is a pleasant amount of grapefruit not overpowering mm. and this kind of coach your uh coach your mouth fairly well I will say I don't know if this one is as coagulating as the orange. It's like, not. It's not as sticky. It's not as syrupy. I, I feel like this was much more syrupy than this grapefruit was. I agree. Um, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Initial taste. I'm getting more of that grapefruit. Ending note is more cranberry. For initial taste, I will go B minus on the initial taste. Or no, I, I like B B plus on the initial taste. Uh, I like that I grapefruit. I do declare B plus. I agree, I agree, I agree. Ending note, I'm going to go B. A little bit less just because yeah. I like the grapefruit taste a little bit more than the crayon. No, nah, that's fine. B it is. Crush it. Moving on to the apple. Jesus. What a, what a job. Michael J. Fox over there? <laughs> Say when. All right, so, the so this is now cranberry apple. Let's try this bad boy out. Let's try this on for size. All right, you're just going for it. You're not going to do a nose. This no, smells... the nose is pleasant, man. Nose smells like straight up apples, like you're in an apple orchard. They did a good job on these noses. This nose smells more candied apple to me, like a sucker, like a green apple sucker. That's what this smells like. How many licks does it take to get to the center of lollipop? Yeah, exactly. Three hundred forty-six. <laughs> I did count one time. You think I'm joking? Uh, this does smell more candied, syrupy, like the orange. It is pleasant. It's like a nice green apple sour note to it. Um, Jesus, you already you don't even want to talk about this one. You just want to go right to the regular classic grapefruit, bro. Right to drink, bro. <laughs> we probably should have started with a classic grapefruit, honestly. But anyway. The cr cranberry, not grapefruit. Classic cranberry, right. You're so, obsessed with grapefruit. Yeah, I know. Initial taste for this, what do you or nose for this, what are you going? Nose is an A for me because I do like green apples a lot, and it puts me right in an apple orchard, which for me is pleasant. I'm going to go a B plus. So let's go B plus Chuck. I, I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree. It's that candied sucker note that's kind of bringing me down a little bit. Well, I'm going to pick you right back up with this Love initial that. taste. We're over here crushing. I do enjoy this. Uh, so far, this one is my favorite. Out of the grapefruit and the orange. Uh, yeah, I mean, so far, I'd go orange last, then grapefruit, and now this apple. Yeah, the initial taste of this is a very refreshing apple yeah. i will say the ending note you get kind of more of that aftertaste when you're done eating a sucker like once you start chewing some of that gum like you know those blow pops or whatever where you you got green apple and then you got the gum inside which is super weird i have one every day at work do you really yeah we'll talk about it Jesus, during which, the weekly episode that's why you go to the dentist so much oh would you stop so go every six months <laughs> <laughs> i will say this tastes like a sucker to me like a blow pop sucker mm -hmm. the ending note gets that kind of like gummy um, aftertaste of that green apple. So ending note, I'm going to go maybe B for this, B minus. What I'm going to go A minus. Note? Okay, then let's compromise and go B check. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. Okay. Cranberry. Classic cran. Classic cran. I have cranberries every day. This nose is pungent. doesn't smell like a dentist office, but it does, I mean, it's straight. Like it says, cranberry. Yeah. It smells like craisins. Right. Uh, th I mean, it's good. It doesn't do yeah. a whole lot for me. It's, I mean, it's dead on, so B. 
Yeah, B minus. All right, B minus. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Initial, Initial taste. taste. This tastes. First of all, I should note. Don't taste any vodka or any type of alcohol in any of these. Yeah, no, 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 no. It tastes like grape juice. So you're going to get... Well, you're the juice. Gonna, yeah, this is... Each of these is 4.52. They're 4.5%? You can get blitzed off of these. Daddy's going to feel it tomorrow. <laughs> you don't taste any alcohol in these at all. I w I'm actually kind of surprised. So, but anyway, so this one, I'm getting just like ocean, ocean breeze cranberry juice. Like that's all I'm cram raspberry juice or something like just a deep cranberry cherry. Yeah. No. The fact that this is a vodka cran is dangerous. Tastes what it, it tastes like what a vodka cran should taste, but at four and a half percent, good golly, geez. Yeah. Uh, initial, it's like a beer. It's like your typical ale, and you're yeah, crushing right. these. Yeah, I would say. And these will make you feel gross. You're just gonna crush them, not have any regard for how many you taste. They you're just won't be make you feel gross. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. beer will make you feel gross. Oh yes, yeah. yes. So will malt seltzers. Correct. Uh, I'm going to go initial taste. I'll go B minus. B, yeah, I was gonna go flat B. Yeah, let's go B B check then. And then ending note, I mean, it's the same consistency going back. I mean, there's nothing kind of lingering. Nope. It's not as – I will. I do want to kind of try this orange again because I want to know if that coagulation or whatever, it seems to be just on the orange, but maybe I was just kind of weird when I had this. Um, but ending note here, I mean, I'm still going to go same, maybe like a B, B minus. These are very consistent from an ending note to the initial taste. The only thing that I would really call out of something that was different – for me, it was this cranberry grapefruit. I could really taste that dynamic between the two. Oh, yeah. In that one. Yeah. The other one's kind of just blended together, in my opinion. The grapefruit has the strongest flavor. I do agree with yeah. that. However, it's very distinct, and you, you can easily pick up when you drink it, like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's definitely orange. Yes, that's definitely apple. It's definitely grapefruit. It's definitely cranberry. Yeah, I will so, say, this This is a little bit thicker to me. I just tried it again. Okay. It, it does kind of stay in, the, in your mouth for a, a little bit longer. Yeah. Pause. Um, okay, so it. really, we did everything. Now, before we do a final rating, what's your order that you would put them in? What's the Mike Kelly approved neutral lineup? Yeah, I mean, I would do cranberry four, uh, so orange you're going, three. You're going back, back yeah, to front. Yeah, four three. Grapefruit is two. Apples one. I'm probably going to stick with you, except I'm switching these two. So four is going to be cranberry. No, I lied. Four is going to be orange. I'm switching it up. Three is going to be cranberry. Two is going to be apple, and one is going to be grapefruit. All right. There it is. That's final our rating final for all approval. This stuff. Yeah, final rating for Neutral's uh, variety pack of Vodka Seltzer's Cranberry variety pack. Derek, give me that countdown. Three, two, one. 86. 84. Yeah, 85. Dead on. Solid. It uh, definitely makes sense. Neutral, nice job on these. Again, if you wanted to pick these up, swing over to Addy's. They do have them in stock, ready to go. Uh, Addy's and Neutral, thank you so much for allowing us to review these. And uh, Derek, take us out. These are extremely crushable. These definitely scream like Bill's game. And you don't want to like want to throw up as soon as you walk in the stadium. Like you're, yeah. You can have these feel so good and walk in. Yeah. Cool. All right. If you do pick these up and you go to Addy's, please remember to always drink your sponsor. Be good person. Do not litter. We're out. I'm not